Even before last night's destruction and looting, a number of downtown businesses had been rethinking their future in Minneapolis. That includes the business next door to Sushi Train. John Lorton spoke with some business owners today about their future moving forward, and he joins us now. John? Yeah, Amelia, that business is Dahl Medical Supply, located at 12th and Nicollet. They've been in business over 100 years. They've been downtown for more than 12 years, but after last night, they don't plan to stick around. You feel so hopeless and helpless and you know, like, I got to get there. I got to defend. And that helpless feeling grew throughout Wednesday night as Lisa Steffist watched surveillance video of looters ransacking her store. So we had several windows broken. <laughs> and we had a lot of looting. <laughs> they stole things. They stole all of our computers and our technology. For Lisa and her family, it was the last straw. On Thursday morning, they parked a moving van in front of the store and began loading up the merchandise the thieves didn't take. This was it for us. It just really, really was. Um, we're family-owned business. It's just not worth it anymore to be downtown. And, and we actually all grew up kind of working in downtown. It's more just a sense of uh, tension. Blocks away at the saloon, assistant manager Bobby Palmer made the call to close early Wednesday evening. It definitely was a feeling of this isn't safe anymore. We do need to get people out of here. Palmer says they got lucky. Looters broke in but did minimal damage to the bar. Nothing that we can't uh, replace, nothing that we can't fix. Really the most important thing is that our community is safe. While Palmer says the saloon has no plans to leave downtown, other businesses could soon follow Dahl Medical's lead. We've lost six people in this building already. Chad Laux has run Greenway Chiropractic at 811 LaSalle for 17 years. He first lost customers to COVID, but Locke says downtown crime has made things worse. His first client Thursday canceled, with a reason he's heard far too often lately. She's lived downtown for at least 10 years. Called me up and said, let me know when you move. She's not coming. She lives about six blocks over. She's not coming to, to downtown anymore. Logs told us he's been emailing council members for months, but has only heard back from council member Lisa Goodman. He had hoped to be in that location for 25 years, Amelia, but after this, he's exploring ways now to get out of his lease. All right, John, thank you.